Hey, Busy Brains, Brian King here. And as you may have guessed, I'm a coach for Busy Brains. And yeah, I'm looking at you, okay? A couple things I want to talk about. Yesterday, I mentioned that I was going to start a new habit this morning, morning called the 20-20-20. Meaning 20 minutes of exercise, followed immediately by 20 minutes of meditation, and then finishing it off with 20 minutes of reading. Man, was it awesome. I, I just finished it, and I feel so juiced. I can't begin to tell you. The 20 minutes of exercise was pretty typical, except I wasn't as lazy with it. I, I pushed myself a little bit more because now I had time constraints instead of, oh, you know, a couple hours to kill until my first session. So I got my exercise done. I feel really pumped, focused, centered. Secondly, the 20 minutes of meditation. Now, I got to admit, although I've been meditating regularly for the past 20 plus years, I've been slacking off a little bit. You know, some days I would do half an hour, some days I would do five minutes. Today I was more disciplined. I used my little Alexa to help me do it. Let's see if she heard that. Yeah, okay, but she didn't activate. I used her to do the 20 minute timing. And here's some wonderful little things my busy brain did to me. Because we know our busy brain likes to throw shit in there to interrupt us all day long. Our impulsive thinking, it's introduction of shiny objects saying, hey, this would be cool to post, or hey, you should really follow this person, or hey, you forgot to do this. Maybe you should stop and do it now. All those thoughts flood in, well, I'm just trying to be mindful and present and centered. So what did I do with that crap? Now, I advise people to just you know, let it go, be present with it, acknowledge it, and let it pass by. But my brain was being creative today, and it was giving me some more visually concrete ways of dealing with it. So here's what I found myself doing while I was meditating. An idea for a really cool post showed up. And I said, oh, you should stop right now and you should post this. But then I remembered, no, this is 20 minutes of meditation. This is what I prioritize. So I imagined myself turning that thought into a baseball. And I chucked it. And I told it, come back later. And I just saw it go. You know, like the whole what goes around comes around thing. I imagine myself chucking it around the world. Then I just let it go off in the distance. I got back to my breathing. I got centered and I stayed present. Then another thought came in. Man, this is taking longer than I thought it would. Is this really 20 minutes? It feels like a lot longer. Chatter, 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 busy, busy, busy. So I took that thought and I turned it into a bird and I took it by the tail in my mind and I just let it fly away. And I found those concrete ways of visualizing and letting it go made it a heck of a lot easier. Hey there, Jesse. Made it so much easier to just release it. And other thoughts would come in like, man, how am I gonna explain this to people? Or maybe I should write it down. Maybe I should make notes. Wait a minute, no. I'm meditating right now. This time I took the thought, I put it on a leaf, placed it in a river, and watched it float away. So I had all of these wonderful ways of letting go of thoughts that were intruding, they were neat thoughts, but they weren't relevant to being mindful, to being present. So I just let it go, because here's the reality of our thoughts, folks. Not every thought we have is a million dollar idea or a gem. If you truly believe you have a creative mind, you're gonna have more ideas. So let these float away, let them fly away, let them go away, turn them into a baseball, a bird, or a leaf, whatever you need to do. Because right now your prioritize is meditation, being centered. Then I read from one of my books. And by this time, I had exercised, I had meditated, my brain was relaxed, it was open, it was full of oxygen, I was present, and man, did I find myself being soaked into the text. And by the time I was done with it, I couldn't believe, again, how juiced and jacked I am because of how alert, awake, and productive I feel. So that's just the 2020 Jesse, you totally need to meditate. Brother, let's you and I talk. I want to help you with that, okay? Because I am a pro. Now, something I want to share with you that I helped a gentleman with yesterday. I'm sure you've noticed there's been a slight shift in what it is I'm posting about. Yes, I still help families that are impacted by Asperger's and ADHD. But I'm branching out 
to work more with professionals that have busy minds. You know, the real creative types that have so much going on in their head that they can't seem to take action, make things happen, follow through, all that fun stuff. I know it sounds like ADHD, but it doesn't have to be. It just has to be somebody who's very creative and busy and doesn't have any kind of meaningful structure to be productive, okay? So with that, I talked to a gentleman yesterday who is starting off a really, really positive venture. And yes, Nick, I'm talking about you. But he had a hard time getting past the busy work. You know, just kind of flying by the seat of his pants, following his impulses, what feels good here and there. And he wasn't getting a whole lot done. So long story short, what I helped him identify was the importance of scheduling his values instead of the busy shit. Now, I've heard people say, well, you've got to schedule time to do your email. And you've got to schedule time to do this and do that. And I'm thinking to myself, you really don't. you got to communicate to your clients how to contact you, when to contact you, why to contact you. My clients know I don't do crisis. Okay? So don't call me and tell me it's an emergency. I'm not going to drop everything I'm doing for you. Chances are it can wait. There are very rare emergencies in life. And if you have one, dial 911, not me. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Tried to do that all in one breath. And I live on Facebook. That's where the conversations are happening. So my clients know, message me on Facebook. Because who knows when I'll get to my email. A lot of the stuff in my email is a lot of the miscellaneous crap like newsletters or whatever. That can wait. Okay? So what was this gentleman's values? He thought it was to be more competitive or, you know, to kind of keep up on what's happening in the world. I helped him realize, no, your value is not to be competitive. Your value is to be of service. You want to communicate to the people whose business you eventually hope to earn that you are qualified to serve them. And you are qualified to serve them so well that they won't even consider anybody else. And that was kind of a, a breakthrough for him. So we figured out what would that look like if you were being of service to your people in a total kick-ass way, what would you be doing? You wouldn't be following a whim. You wouldn't be following an impulse. You'd know exactly what problems you want to solve for them. You would create posts, articles, find videos, everything around solving that specific problem. How's that for concrete? You go and collect all this stuff up. You figure out where your ideal customer lies, and you start feeding them that information, and you have conversations with them. Every single day when I serve you, I don't show up with mediocrity. I don't give you cat videos. I come to solve specific problems for people that feel like they can't do it, they're too busy, there's no room in their schedule, and there are some people that insist on clinging to their bullshit and thinking, oh, I, I really can't do it. I'm not one of those people that can just put it into their calendar because I'm too busy being a martyr or whatever other crap they tell themselves. The reality is your time is spent on what you prioritize, period. It's not spent on all the things that are out of your control. You do not live in perpetual chaos unless you allow it. You can schedule your time. You can prioritize your values. If you want to be more of a volunteer, fine, schedule it give up binge watching Game of Thrones, okay? The time is there, you're just not using it. If you allow your busy mind to continue to feed you miscellaneous bullshit and then you go after what the shiniest object is, you're gonna feel like your life is in chaos. But when you settle down and determine what your core values are and how to live them, suddenly your life has greater value, greater purpose, greater focus. And that's what I help people do. So if this is something you can use, and yeah, you can use this, you know damn straight, let me know. We'll talk about it. Just like Jesse, he and I are going to connect so we can talk about how he can begin integrating meditation into his life. My schedule today is packed with people that want to upgrade their mindset. They've been paying attention to my posts about what I can offer, and they're taking action. They're saying, enough with this bullshit. I'm tired of my brain being busy but not productive and I want to do something about it. And they reached out to me, and because they did, we're talking today, and I'm going to give them strategies to help change things for the better. So if this is something you want for yourself, 
quit sitting on your thumb and telling yourself, oh, I gotta figure it out by myself. Bullshit. Don't reinvent the wheel when I can help you take the wheel you've got and put better treads on it, okay? So take this for what it's worth, use it, make some good things happen, share this with people you know can benefit from it, and until next time, this is Brian, we'll talk again soon.